Hi guys, Mike Hamburger here, aka Jive Dig from the Stiz Media. Gonna demo the Styles plugin with the 16.9 Pro theme add on. This is the Genesis 2.0 uh, child theme from Studio Press. I got a clean install of it here. Okay, so we got Styles installed. Uh, when you get the add on and install it, it makes you install styles because that's how it works. So we can customize theme here or appearance, customize. This is the big list that you show up. Preview is loading right here. And here's what we got. We're just gonna run through quick and make a grayscale version. See how fast we can totally change this theme. Uh, 169 styles. Okay, this is just the default uh, customizer stuff here. We don't really need to mess with that. Uh, colors, these are the built-in. We want more controls, so we're going to skip them. Background image, this theme has built-in over here. You can use that if you want. For the sake of the demo, we're going to leave it out and use solid, solid colors. Static front page, has nothing to really do with what we're working with. Global defaults, okay. The body, the body only affects over here in this theme, but we'll get it started. Okay, there's a gray. Uh, okay, overall text size we're okay with, font size we're good with, body color, maybe we will get a little gray, default link color, how about a blue, default link cover, how about a lighter blue, okay, uh, buttons, let's set a default button here, just use a green, about a darker green. Okay, we'll see that when we get there. Button color, the, this theme has white as the default, which is fine. Okay, headings, you can control the size, the font, and the color individually here for the sake of the demo. Let's just do it, set it globally. Let's change the font so you can see what happens how fast everything goes. A couple minutes in, we're starting to change it here. Open sans, condensed, I like. Okay, we set it globally, so it affected the site title, entry title, widget title. Uh, you probably don't want to do that if you want fine-tuned control, but we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, site header in 16.9 theme is this side here, so let's see, you make it a little lighter than there. Title, gotta get back to where we were. 24, 26, 28. Okay, site title, we don't want it. The default link color, we want it our own. Dark gray, hover, let's make the hover white. With the Styles plugin, anything you do hover, you gotta give it a second to kick in. It's a JavaScript change uh, in order to make it alive refresh, which is totally fine because we're doing all this live on the fly is awesome. Okay, tagline will leave. Cool, header's done. Uh, jump to navigation. Menu item. Let's go a little darker than the regular. I'm going to copy that color. So the menu item hover, I can make just a tad lighter. Give it a second. There it is. Cool. Item color we want as white. We're not going to change that on hover. I put in a little sub menu so you can see what it looks like. The Studio Press demo doesn't have that. Um, probably don't even want them on this theme, but that's fine. Border color, that's too dark here. We want it to match our gray look here. Cool. Nice. Okay, done with nav. Content area, it's all of this. Uh, breadcrumb, let's show you. We'll jump to a single pulse. There's the breadcrumb up there. Darken it up, whatever you want. Change it a little bit. Uh, let's see, default is white here. We'll make it a little less than white. Keep with our tones here. Okay, that part is done. Go back here. 
uh, we're jumping ahead. Let's save. Actually, we'll go back to a post to show you um, <clears throat> headings. We want to change all the heading colors. We don't want them black. We want them kind of gray to match. And the entry heading, we still want it bigger. 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 Okay. Entry heading, color, we're good with. Let's see, go back to the regular blog, okay. Uh, entry heading, link color. If we want to change this link color from the default to something else, you can do that, but we're cool with it. Border color, we lost our border when we changed. We're on the default homepage here, there we go. There's our border. Nice. <clears throat> okay, entry meta. Uh, this affects the meta here and the bottom. Show you that. Make it a little smaller. Uh, and then if you want to change this one differently, you can override it down here by meta cats, tags, categories, and tags. So if we want that real small, we can do that. Uh, maybe the middle we want a lighter than everything else. Maybe the middle link we want to match our buttons. How's that? Okay, so hover. Yeah, it's still a little illogical, but get the idea. Um, this is individual control over these, separate from the defaults that we set right up here. We're fine with that. Comment author, jump to a post to see it. Okay, scroll down to comments, here we go. I didn't import these posts to my username, so it's still shown with Brian Gardner. Um, <clears throat> can make these smaller, get them out of the way. Give his name darker. Comments meta, same, same type of deal. Make these smaller, focus on the content itself. Date and time, you can change the color if you want. A reply link. That is fine. You know what we should do? Comment, content, background color. Let's make that a little darker. Separate it. Border is white. That looks cool. Comment text. A little smaller, too much, 15, good. <clears throat> Comment kind of text color, slightly less than the regular body. Good. Comment response form down here. This just gives you control over that. Mm, title, text in there. You see it better when you're logged out. Uh, Self explanatory. Sidebar up here. Okay. Widget titles. We set them globally before, so they're real big. So we got to make it its own thing here. Let's go with that green. That was kind of the default color. Uh, font size. Everything a little smaller. Sidebar text is cool. Sidebar links. We need to lighten up a bit. Some. Okay. Link cover. Want to make sure that's set to white and not the default blue. Okay. Side bar is done. Footer. The footer on this theme is right here. So let's lighten it up a little bit. Lighten it up. That border is way too dark. Uh, there, it looks good. Let's shrink that up a little bit. Powered by Genesis. Put a text color. We're losing it in the gray a little bit. Make it a little darker. Put a link. It's cool. Put a link. 
Actually, you might have to set the link before you set the hover. Nope, it does it. Cool. Okay, footer's done. Save, made a lot of changes there. Uh, we're just about done. Let's jump to... Um, well, you know what? This title I want bigger. I liked how it was on the original um, theme. We, we changed all the headings globally, but I want those bigger. So that is an entry. It's an entry heading. <clears throat> oh, you know what? We did do it bigger before for the post. Yeah. I think these cool. Okay. Let's see. This, uh, this is Gravity Forms, as it says, like Genesis recommends and uses, and I do as well. Uh, e News Extended, you have control over that if you use that in this theme. I don't have it uh, anywhere, but you have control over it here. Uh, let's jump gravity forms. The label is too dark. Font size is cool. Font will leave as default, but the label we want to match the theme a little bit. There's that gray field background. Let's do something cool here. Let's make the background dark. Make the border kind of dark. And then make the field text color white. Test the text color. Something a little different. Don't want to scare users away, but show you what we can do here. Um, Gravity Forms Guide, that controls these. Um, description, if you have one in there, you can control it. I put in just a little word test so you can see the description. Um, make that something obvious, red, so you can see it. Um, button, you can have individual, uh, 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 we changed the field background color here, and in Gravity Forms that affects everything. So now we need to set the button specific to Gravity Forms. This lets you have a button color specific to your form here, as opposed to um, what was set in the global default up here. Okay, plugins, that's it. I think we're good. Save, publish again. And here it is. We'll refresh. Let's see what we got. There it is. A couple minutes in, and we got a totally different looking customization to the 16.9 Pro theme. Click around, show you some stuff. Contact. And that's it looking around and showing you some stuff. Responsiveness is still the same. And that's it. Styles plugin 169 Pro theme add-on. Thanks guys.